Hey everyone, welcome back to more Beneath Aressa. I'm Disturbing Puppet. So we're making a run here with Sahoma, who's the lady at the top of the stairs, or the, not stairs, letter. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, who I have not been able to actually finish a run with. She's the only character I haven't finished a run with. Um, I think at this point I probably should be focusing on upgrading cards, and we should be okay. Uh, if we can get a few more Anticorms, that would be nice. But on the third floor here, things get a lot more dangerous. Okay, we can upgrade a card and get three stuns. Those are just basically useless cards that you draw. I think that's worthwhile, and we can pick anything we want to upgrade. So, what is the priority? I'm not sure about even keeping no quarter in my deck. Uh, weak spot is really good. We could upgrade... Hmm. We could get ground zero... Down to 2 for 85 damage. That's pretty darn reasonable. Uh, defensive tactic. What can we go? So it's 7. And then gain 4. So 9. Gain 4. Gain 1. That's a pretty good defensive card. Uh, dodge and shoot's always really good. Yeah, not super fantastic. I think just going increased damage is quite good. We could do this to be a one-time use because it's got the consumable on it. Yeah, fast draw, not so sure about. No quarter, we might want to get rid of. I think probably what we do is upgrade weak spot. I kind of like the three for 110. Like, that's a pretty good trade-off, I think. So yeah, let's go weak spot. A little bit more damage, a bit more weakness on the enemies. Oh, it's a single enemy to fight. Okay, these are kind of dangerous at this point. So what's your deal? Ah, uh, it's this guy. Crap. Okay. So when I attack him, he gets a buff. So he's going to increase the damage that he's going to throw at me. But if I hit him enough that the buff goes up to a certain point, he'll lose it all and take some damage. Crap. Okay. Well... I don't have a ton of attacks. Let's draw some stuff and see what we can get. Uh, we could just go turtle here. That's certainly a possibility. Okay, I'm going to get some block. I'm definitely going to need it. I can only attack him a couple times, so there's no real way we're going to get this pushed up, and he might massively increase the amount of damage he does if I do. So I think instead I'm just going to try to block my way through this a little bit. Something along those lines, I don't really know what else to do here. Uh, we could go ahead and activate that, I guess. We'll get that off. I don't even think I should attack him at all, honestly. It's just going to make the hit hit much harder. I do have an okay amount of block, though. So maybe I suck it up to get one good hit in. Okay, so now I'm taking 14 damage. This is only once per battle I can play this. I probably should wait. But attacking this guy more is just going to make him do way more damage. I can't really push him up. He's at 10. It's got to go to 40. I think I've just got to suck it. Which is unfortunate. I'm going to do some passive damage, though. Okay, so now you're doing two... Well, I can do a lot of damage here. That might be worthwhile. Thirty coming in. Yeah, I think it's worth it to do it, just because it's so much damage. Now you can hit me for forty. All right. Well, that's not nice. Like I'd like to hit him and gain some ammo back, but it's just going to make him even nastier. He's only got a five at the moment. Uh, let me see if I can get something for block. Okay, that is block. Nice. Gives me some ammo, too. That's pretty good. I'm going to have to kind of live with that and just take some more damage. He has taken some passive hits, though. 
He's not doing anything now, so if I'm going to hit him, this is the time to do it. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot. So let's draw at least something. What did we get? More energy. Let's draw something. Thirsty barrel. Two for 28. Uh, fine, I guess. Not much ammo left, though. Okay. Can I kill him? Yes. Yes, I can. Alright. We're fine, then. I don't even really have to do anything special. So, yeah, just playing these two is all I need to do. So, yeah, let's not do anything fancy. Just take him out. I didn't take too much damage there. 28, especially for him. That's pretty good. Tales of Woe. Each round, a random foe takes four non-lethal damage or eight if bloodied. So I'm already doing that with some Antiquorums, so that kind of add into that. Uh, dislodging gunfire. Shoot somebody back from me. That's what the point blank means. Uh, bolting opening. That was bolter opening before. Uh, it's evasion, so I move back when I shoot. On draw or discard, if the cylinder's emptied, gain one ammo and five block. Uh, not bad. So that's potentially going to give me some... I'm usually not, like, totally empty, but if I am empty, that gives me some options. This kind of plays into things I'm already sort of doing. I can't get it upgraded to be free. So I can go 6 to 12 or 8 to 16. No, each foe takes 6 or 12 if bloodied. Ooh. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen Tales of Woe before. That's pretty good, actually. If I can get the energy I need, that's helpful. I'm actually... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take it. I haven't seen that one before. I'll throw it in. Hopefully I can maybe get it upgraded before we get to the end here. Like I said, upgrading cards is probably what I should do. Okay, upgrade, increase card's damage, gain an injector, or we can do a little healing and get rid of a card. I could get rid of some stuff for sure. Let's upgrade something. We don't have a lot of choice, though. I might get rid of no quarter. I'm not sure. Defensive tactic, I think we go with that one. So seven, and then each one is six. Or we go nine, each one is four. So two to start with, and then it's the same, or plus two for each ammo spent. So after one ammo, they're the same. After that, it's better to do this one if I'm burning ammo. So let's go with that upgrade. And then increase something's damage by two. Well, I mean, pistol whip is always good. Weak spot is also quite good. Uh, both of those are probably my prime choices. Let's go with Pistol Whip. And we get discard your hand, redraw, and gain 20 block. That we want to save for like an elite or boss, preferably. I don't really know. I think this doubles the ammo cost. I'm not 100% sure. So normally stuff costs one ammo. I think this means that it'll cost two. I have taken this before. I've never really noticed it being a huge problem, but I've always had lots of like ammo draw and stuff. So I might want to skip this, although it does do a lot more damage for all my cards. I think we're going to upgrade cards. I'm going to focus on that as a priority. So here, dodge and shoot is good. Tales of Woe. Do we want to focus on hurting one? Like, because a lot of the, the really bad enemies, there's only one of them. And if it's random and there's only one, they take it all, so 8, 16. Or each takes 6 or 12, if bloodied. This is going to help me more against mobs. This is a little bit more against individual enemies. But the individual enemies usually have a ton of health. So it's not like a huge improvement. So that's something to think about. We could get this up to 26. Could go for the block. I mean, this, when we draw the card, we gain another card and five block. That's pretty good. So that's a nice 
secondary benefit of the fast draw there. We can improve the effect of the no quarter, but I, I still don't feel like it's really that great. If I can't increase the, like, if I could decrease the cost, it would be good. Yeah, let's go Tales of Woe, and let's do it so it hits everybody, I guess. Although usually the single enemies are the ones that kill me. So at this point, the elites are really dangerous. Uh, I am a little hurt. It would be nice to get more into quorums. I do have to fight one later. I feel like skipping this one, because there's one I have to fight later, is the better option, because I am a little banged up. I've got a heal back here. It's just, it's way too risky. So we're just going to do a regular fight. Okay, so what do we got? You're going to do more damage till I attack you. This guy heals and explodes when he dies. This guy heals. All right, so probably want to kill this idiot first. That's kind of the deal. We've got four. Potentially we could try to run no quarter. Alright, let's see what we can draw. Nothing super fantastic. Do I want to pop the no quarter is the question. I suppose. Let's do that. Okay, we got the weak spot. Uh, you I want to stab so you do less damage. So let's get the weak spot on you. We've got three, so the trifocus mark is now good to go. Uh, you do blow up when you die, and I don't have a lot of block. So I will take some damage, but it's... 7. If he attacks me, it's 9, so it's better to just kill you, even though you're going to blow up. Okay, I've got no block, so I'm going to take a decent amount. Distance isn't really going to help me here. We'll drop the cryo grenade just to weaken. So it's a little bit less damage I'm taking. That's about it. All right, still sucked. Could have been worse. Uh, let's go personal stash. Okay, we kind of missed an animation there or something. Now we can ammo trick. This one, if I discard, what does that do? Increase cost, yeah. So if this one... Yeah, it's fleeting, so it doesn't matter. So just anything to kill you would be fine. What is this? That one we want to save. You can die. Final word. And I can almost take him out. Wow. Okay, <laughs> tons of blocks, not really much of anything else. Okay, let's see if I can draw something we can kill you with. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> yeah, so even there, regular fight, I still lost some health. Uh, experimental slug is pretty good. The force field is okay. Pistol whip, generally quite good. I could take another pistol whip and hope to upgrade it, or we could just go experimental slug. Upgraded, we can go extra damage, and then we guaranteed some kind of benefit from it. Um, I mean, both are good options. I do like the pistol whip a lot. I'll take the pistol whip. 
That way I don't have to worry about the ammo. We have a, a few other options. Heal, upgrade, remove, or we get an antiquorum. Ooh. Antiquorums are really good. Upgrading is also really good. Let's heal, upgrade. Okay, options for upgrades. Not super great. I do kind of like the on draw, get a card and five block automatically. That's kind of nice. Can upgrade the damage by eight. Everything else is the same, right? Yeah, so that's eight extra damage. This is seven extra damage, same. So I guess this one wins out as being eight. They're both limited, so that's a bit of an issue. I do like the passive block. Although I could get rid of Fast Draw, honestly. It really wouldn't affect my deck much to get rid of it. But at least this way, if I draw it, I get something from it, and I don't lose a spot. I feel like if I'm going to get rid of either one of these... Well, I could get rid of both. No Quarter's probably slightly less useful. Slightly. Than the upgraded version of this, I mean. Um, I'm going to keep my options open for getting rid of stuff. Let's just get Final Word upgraded. Good damage. Uh, and for getting rid of a card, well, well, well. Now look who's on the chopping block. No Quarter and Fast Draw. Is there anything else worse that I would want to get rid of? No. I mean, I could get rid of a basic block. True. This is, I mean, it's only once per round. I feel like fast draw is even worse than no quarter then, as the base version. So yeah, fast draws goes away. Okay, I potentially could get block on the first round anyway for the antiquorums I have. This is extra damage in the first round. Let's go extra damage in the first round. Oh, I did get it. <laughs> so we got 54 block there. Nice. Okay, so we are facing a big guy as well. Each time a curse is erased, he takes 50. He adds curses to my deck. So he gains three extra damage and a couple weakness. So that's about it. So nothing too crazy. Um, I didn't draw anything. Distance doesn't really matter. I've got everything covered for his attacks. Unstable primer I don't like. It even hits me next turn, which sucks. All right, let's go slash it up. I might have to use this anyway, even though I really don't like it. For the damage, I guess. I'm going to use this out of order just so I can actually use this to draw something, I think. Just so I can keep doing damage. And I just draw a basic attack. That's too bad. Disappointing. I can do more with the distance control. I guess we'll do that. Block the tongue. Alright. So what you got for me? 47. That's not very nice. If I have anything good, I would want to get back. Not particularly. I can get some ammo here. Let me do one ammo trick. Slice ceasefire. Uh, yeah, I mean, I could play it really defensively if I want to do that. That's an option, and then I could use the dodge and shoot to pull something back. 
You know what? Let's go ahead and do it, because there's a lot of attacks coming in. So yeah, we pretend to surrender. We don't. Play the dodge and shoot. Give me back the pistol whip. Still didn't give me a lot of block. Could try for something else. We could draw a whole new hand. We want ammo regardless, so we do that. This guy is dangerous enough. We could use this. Or I could just block. So that'd be 28. I'd still take 19. Wow, that's a lot. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use this injector. Draw stuff. See what we can do. Because I do have a lot of actions left. So we trigger that. Do the last one left. So that gets me an action. Can't improvise, just do some damage. Block everything. Get you one ammo. Stupid tongue. Okay. Good timing on drawing the personal stash. That's quite good. Okay, you can eat that. Tempting. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I feel like there used to be an animation there for a shot. Okay, 48 coming in. I have, like, no block at all. That's really bad. Um, if I can weaken him, that's really about it. Then I take a boatload of damage. But I did a ton of damage. Hey, we finally get some of these. Okay, get rid of that. That's gonna hurt you nice and good. Can't really get rid of anything else to finish you off. Uh, you're hitting me for 45. That is very not nice. Let's do some ammo tricks. Okay, lots of attacks. Could weaken, but I might be able to just kill him here. Let's see. Yeah, we can kill you off. But I took way too much damage there. Alright. What do we want? Rand, if this card's in discard pile, returns to hand, gains fading. So once you play it again, then it's gone. So I'm just empty after the shot. One, one. After you play something else, comes back, does more damage. I think the bouncing hits better. Even though this is free. So yeah, it's a couple free shots. Does burn ammo, though. Whereas this, we have to play it each time, but does do a lot more damage. Let's see, upgrade on this. 15. 5. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. It's not a lot of damage, though. Early on, this would be pretty good, because a lot of the enemies are quite weak. Later on, we need damage. So we do have a heal ahead here. Remove a card, gain an Antiquorum, or choose between two. Is there anything I want to get rid of? I could get rid of potentially... Like, I could get rid of No Quarter, honestly. It's not awful. If I actually, like, I have chances to get a large amount of energy for actions. If that happens, then no quarter is good. If it doesn't happen, it's not. So it's a bit iffy. Um, let's choose one of two. Okay. So all of the uh, maneuvers are free, basically, because I don't have any that cost two. Well, I do, actually. Uh, the one I was just talking about. 
So that's not bad. Or this one, when you attack a foe, it gains gain two, and this foe is destroyed. This is pretty good, except for this last stage, where there's a lot of single enemies, because it doesn't really matter. You have to kill that one guy, he's the only enemy to fight anyway. So I'm going to take the Neural Synchronizer, actually. And I have to heal here, I have no choice. I'm just too beat up to do anything else. I haven't really gotten anything to give me any real health. There are ways to get some health back. Um, and I don't have quite as much passive block as I would like. Choose card, upgrade, remove. Let's go upgrade, remove. Let's get the other pistol whip up for ammo. Now it's remove. Well, again, it comes back to do I want to keep no quarter or not? I could just get rid of a basic attack or block, because I have other stuff that kind of does that job. I could keep the no quarter because sometimes it is useful. I think we'll get rid of like a basic block. Theoretically no quarter could be helpful at some point. Under the right conditions. Maybe. Alright. Let's go, yeah, all cards do plus two damage, sure. Okay, this is unfortunate. This guy does a ton of damage. Oh, we got no quarter this time. That's actually a really good timing. Each time he's injured, heal three. This guy pumps out a lot of damage. All right, so we go no quarter. Let's just start smacking people and getting all kinds of bonus stuff. Uh, let's get Bouncing Hit active. Uh, that seems a bit excessive. We're 31. I need to waste something on this guy. Prepare war. Okay. I feel kind of bad killing these other guys. Um, I just It's so much damage that I could be hitting this guy with, but unfortunately he's got that shield up, so that's a bit of a problem. I could use a basic crummy attack. Let me do that. Okay, so that got me 116 damage if I want it. Kind of like some, you know, weak attacks, but... I'm not going to argue with 2 for 116. I think the weak spot also... You can die. Give me back the weak spot. And sure, shuffle the no quarter in, I guess. My pistol whip's free. So you can have more weakness. Then you can die. Okay, still taking some damage. I did a lot of damage there. That was kind of ridiculous, but I'm still going to take uh, 14 damage. But I did do a, a tremendous amount to this guy. And he hits me with a giant rock. All right, not so nice. So yeah, 54 shot coming in at me, and that's with 11 weakness on him, which is ridiculous. Uh, I do have three, so the trifocus, sure. Pitch it, because why not? I should have played no quarter. I don't know if it would work now if I did this and then hit him with something. Because I already hit him. Let's do this. Give me back the weak spot. I'm not sure if it'll work. I'm going to give it a try. It's 
Okay, it did. I can do this, because we still have a way to get ammo back for free. So yeah, let's do this. Not any closer, not great. Okay, let's hit you with the cylinder. So that's four damage. This is two damage and five block. Do that. Give me the personal stash. So now we're all loaded up. Gonna take another giant hit. Yeah, this is only this round. Uh, I don't know. Are you moving away? Stays in zone. Yeah, he's going to shoot me a ranged attack, but he's staying here, so the Caltrops won't actually do anything. Um, I'll play them anyway, because I have them in my hand. But, yeah, time to take a bunch of damage. Ow. Alright, so you're blocking. Let's get rid of that block. You're trying to hit me for 40. That is not nice. Hopefully I can do a bunch of damage. Get a gadget, maybe? Um, green gets me ammo. Realistically, how much damage can I get here? Double pistol whip. Okay. Blue is energy, okay. So why not? Gold is draw a card. Yeah, we can kill him now, I'm just drawing stuff. And you can die. Still took a lot of damage in that fight. Okay, each time you begin a round alone in your zone, a random foe gets two weakness. It's mediocre. Uh, in combat, this antiquorum activates when you shuffle your deck. Each round, gain one. So after we shuffle, we're kind of gaining damage. Combat begins, take two non-lethal damage and gain 18. Yeah, I don't really like stuff that do damage to me if I can avoid it. Uh, increasing my damage. Randomly weakening enemies, but only if I'm alone in my zone. Let's take Drug Induced Rage. I don't think Sahoma's so. quite a, a rager, but you know, you never know. Ah, oh, well, we could heal a bunch and decrease companionship. It's a regular fight. I don't think this is really doing a lot for me. Occasionally. Let's just heal 10. I think we're okay for a regular fight. I can heal up before the boss. As long as I don't take too much damage here. Um, give me extra energy. Okay. Good choice. I got another one of these bricks. So you give me curses, and you're kind of a giant jerk. All right. Well, that's not very nice. Cryo grenade we could use in there. I mean, I think we just blast him. just kill you, I think. Draw something. Hey, explosive round!
Yeah, that works out. He does have reinforcements coming in, but got good damage on him. The main guy is who we need to kill, really. You're going to hit me for 39. Okay. What do we want to do here? How many action points do I have? <laughs> Four. Uh, I mean, I could bring my big shot back and hit him and kill him, but then I've got 20 hits coming in. Does save me from 36 damage, though. That is a thing I can do. That's uh, honestly not the worst thing I can do, actually. I feel like that's probably what I should do. <laughs> yeah, screw it. Two turns in a row. Okay, 20 come in. I can block 10 of it. Uh, just hit the weaker guy. Dropped like a little cush ball or something there on the ground. Okay. Let's finish you off. Get the bouncing hit back. Yeah, we can't get the bouncing hit. Okay, it took a little bit of damage there. So the Link Strike does improve the damage of other stuff, so I'll take that. The Cryo Grenade's moderately useful at some times. Alright, what do we got? Remove two non-base cards, that's pretty crummy. Upgrade, yes, upgrade please. 19 in ammo or 19 in evasion? Um, yeah, the evasion could be good depending on the boss we fight, but the ammo could also be just generally useful. Um, Increasing damage is always good, but either way, it's it's seven damage or seven damage. How about we go with the evasion? All right, have to heal, and then it all comes down to this: which boss are we gonna fight? Some of them are much easier than others. Okay. This is one of the tougher ones. Not insanely... Well, okay, they are pretty tough. These three kind of suck. So you're going to do more damage if you have allies. I can't really do much about that. Uh, so yeah, when this foe is destroyed, everyone else gets stronger. Same, same. So the, the more you kind of whittle them down, the worse your situation is. If you're the last one left, you gain 10... Not bloodied, range attacks have energy leech, that sucks. Not bloodied, gain one with each attack. Ooh, okay, you might need to die first. That is really bad. I can do a bunch of damage here initially. But some of them are like, like really dangerous as things progress. The fewer of them there are, the, the harder they hit, which just gets insane. Okay. Let's take that. I'd like to save this for ammo, but it'd be nice to get the damage bonus. It's not gonna matter too much here. Let's just blast you. that. Get this back. Okay, I don't like this because it does do damage to me at the end of the next turn. Not really a fan of this card. But it is damage.
And damage is what I need. Okay, good chunk of damage. You could try, depending on what kind of cards you have, like hurting all of them, and then killing them all around the same time to try to avoid the bonus that they get for damage, but it's really difficult to do that. Uh, I'm going to take quite a bit here. Just they do so much damage that the nine is kind of worth killing them off. All right, what are you doing? What kind of crap are you pulling? Positive buff. All right. So if you're attacked, you add crap to my deck. All right. Well, I'm not going to attack you. We're going to kill this lady. That's sort of the plan. We could pull something back with the dodge and shoot. Fully loaded on ammo, so let me see what I can get. Okay, you're at 49. Let's hit you with that. We get an action, okay. Finish you off. So that's one down. 26 attack coming in. That is insane. Which one is worse if they're left last? Okay, yeah, we probably want to kill you next, if possible. Not that it's probably possible. Give me some block, give me something. Um, possibly I can get some block here. You are gonna give me Neural Assaults if I attack you, which sucks. So I guess we'll hit the other one this turn. Okay, got some ammo, some block, not that it's going to matter much. Okay, what are you doing? <laughs> Stays in the zone when attacking, so you do a big damage thing in the area. So that's 60 damage here coming at me. That's, yeah, that's really awesome, thanks. Appreciate that. Okay, uh, first of all... We ammo trick, hoping to get something. I'm in a lot of trouble. I can weaken them, I can force field myself. We could go no quarter instead and try to do something. But I kind of need to kill you first which is a bit of a problem. Take the force field. Cryo. It helps a little bit. Still 47 damage. Gonna smack you. Block. Do some damage or get five block. Uh, is it 48? Did your damage go up? Because I hit you? Something like that? I don't know. Alright, we'll just shoot you. Yeah, it must be going up. It's now 49. I don't see anything indicating why uh, she'd be going up in fury every time I attack, but that might be what's going on. There's no indication of that. But I am definitely in a bit of trouble. Distance uh, will save me from some damage here, so let's do that. We want to evade to get away. So now you can blow up and damage her, so that saves me from any damage this turn. 
Nice. Okay, I might survive. Oh, I got the tails, but I only have two actions. Why do I only have two actions? No, I drew the energy leak. Okay, let's get rid of the energy leak, but I have to discard something to do it. Let's discard a bouncing hit because it shouldn't really matter too much. So massive attack coming in. That is not good. Draw anything defensive. Okay. Precog three, let's throw, I guess the length strike in. Jeez, this sucks. Distance, I don't think matters. Yeah, you're gonna put junk in my deck if I attack you. Could just have them taking damage, but I don't know if I can even survive if I don't get some more block here. So what is that? Uh, 76 damage. That's really bad. I do have some free stuff I can do. Get the bouncing hit, but I don't know that I want to use that. I should probably just block. I feel like I'm gonna die in this one. Still have a couple free attacks I could throw out. So we'll do that. Get absolutely hammered. Okay, probably gonna die. Which one is the one I'm trying to kill? Yeah, this one. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, a little bit of damage out. Weak spot. Purple is armor, okay. So there's three, so that's a free attack. Get the Neural Assault, does damage to me, that's bad. Is there any way I survive? Yeah, it's 58 damage coming in. Yeah, there's no way I survive this. 27, 32, there's 56, but that's not even taking into account the fact that when the unstable force field goes down, I take damage from it. Uh, green is what? Ammo. Yeah, I can get another shot off, but that's about it. Unfortunate, it's not going to do anything, it's not going to trigger any abilities, it's not going to help me in any way. So, Sahoma dies again. I've been trying to finish a run with Sohoma. It just seems like, no matter what, I have kind of bad luck with the bosses, or I'm just not able to get things kind of going the way I want. This one was a decent run, had a decent amount of damage out there. I don't think there's anything I can do that's going to matter. Is there anything at all, potentially? But we're doing some passive damage, that's true.
Yeah. Nothing really. So yeah, we can replace the ammo, take a shot. That's it. Or I can get a little bit of block, but it's not enough. So it doesn't really even matter. So I'm going to go down fighting. Got really close. Actually, we did a bunch of the passive damage there. At the end. Yes, unfortunate. Got all the way to the end. And that seems to be what happens with Sohoma a lot. Hey, no expedition. Wow, lose 70 max HP. Holy crap. <laughs> Each combat fully heal. That's nuts. So some of these are pretty interesting. Just kind of getting up a level, unlocking different ones. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I was hoping that I could finish off Sohoma and have uh, one with everybody and do videos on it, but it just did not work out. So again, Sohoma fails. Maybe I need to take somebody other than Flynn, but it kind of feels like Flynn's really good as a backup for her because it gives me the extra ammo. It gives me a bit more damage sustained so I can throw out more attacks and stuff. Um, yeah, unfortunate. I probably could have played things a little bit better there, but I think I still would have died. Yeah, I think there wasn't really much I could have done there to, in the long run in that final fight. All right, this has been more Beneath Aressa. I've been Disturbing Puppet. Thanks for coming by. Hopefully I will see you all again another time. Until then, have a good one.